Hey, it's Random Pop Culture News Freak Gary, aka Man Over Any Guys in Wrestling News Journal Natural Sports Channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, of course. Once in a while, I'll see him um, bet you and all the other good stuff in mine. Anyways, I am follow me on all my links and links just in case I end up the show and just shut down Terminator Shadow Band. Um, they, now, this came out literally a day ago, almost a whole day ago, almost, but still, it's extremely recent ass shit, so there's that. I was going to talk a little bit about this older Fortnite news, and I was like seven, eight days old. I still wanted to talk a little bit about it, maybe. So it says Diablo 4's impressive collection, collector's edition, doesn't include the game. So I got to get credit card as dues from um, Agnes Adams, I guess. Agnes Adams. So from Game Pressure. I only read for this thing once before, so it's only the second time I read from it. So let's continue. Start. Diablo 4 released an impressive collector's edition, which includes any among the other things. I'm going to say among us, but I'm going to say that's true. A cloth of map sanctuary. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Contain a copy of the game itself. And, uh, yeah, I got a credit card as due. I haven't heard this name for a while, but my girl Vera Dart, she talked about it for a little bit, so I may leave a link in the video down below. This is at the recent Game Awards 2022 Gala, Blizzard presented a trailer which release date of Diablo 4 simultaneously with the announcement. Pre orders for the title also took off, although none of the additions to the game are available for purchase yet. <clears throat> and it also goes on to say. In the four days on, this, on December 15th, an impressive collector's edition will be made available for sale. The most expensive edition of Diablo 4 will be available at only a Blizzard game store, gear store. And his exact price is not yet unknown at this point. It's probably going to be 500 bucks, maybe 200 at the least, or 120 But, let's move on. However, we do know it consists of the following items. Candle, a linear map of Sanctuary, art book, horatic pen, mouse pads, and two paintings. So there's that. As you can easily see, the addition without the game, however, does not constitute any particular shocking decision. Many publishers have also had similar sets before. EA, aka Electronic Arts, has also been, for example, recently decided to move on a similar move. The collector's edition, or Need for Speed Unbound, also does not include a copy of the game. Diablo 4 will debut on June 6, 2023. A half year from now. The title will be headed for the PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. Yes, yeah, so overall thoughts, views, and opinions. <laughs> it's a damn shame because I know some of these games, especially on Reddit and Fortune, oh man. Probably Twitter too. They've been bitching and playing like a motherfucker for a long ass time, for about actually two, three days maybe. Not that long, but still kind of long in internet sort of like time history news. That's a damn shame. Really? Why would you do that, man? To your own fans, EA. You gotta get your heads out of your ass and get back in the game, man, honestly, because <laughs> that's not a good look. Now, I, used, I haven't talked about anything Diablo since I like, kind of told like literally like two years, man. It's been a while to talk about anything Diablo later, but oh man, it sucks to see that that shit's going on with EA, man. Screwing over their fans like that. Not getting an actual physical copy of the game, unless it's just gonna be a DLC digital download instead. But that's how EA's gonna do it? I don't know. Let's go on to the next article real quick. Not too long. Just gonna be ready to first two sentences because I already know how I am with Fortnite. I'm gonna give a rat's ass on it. I know they brought a little bit like a week and a half ago the My Hero Academia characters. That would have been cool as shit, but I don't really care too much. Like, granted, I'm not a real hardcore Witcher fan. No offense to anyone that are the Witcher fans out there. It just really wasn't my cup of tea. And I got a Lord of Rings Harry Potter vibes from it, but a more darker version of that. So it says, yeah. Game on Fortnite Chapter 4 brings new thrills to the Unshakable Battle Royale. Da -da -da -da. Chapter 4 Season 1 Battle Royale launch lost on all platforms on Sunday, bringing along the Explorer to vehicles, swath of imagination, and weapons, of course, including costumes. The characters of the franchise include Credible Halt, Doomsayer, Doom Guy, and Geralt for Reva from The Witcher. Da -da -da. There's all the new weapons there, new red eye assaults, thunder shotgun, and using the name Excalibur rifle and the new shockwave hammer is similar to, to the gravity hammer from the Halo series besides adding in dirt bike epic games has also added new methods of moonlight like jumping, science tumbling snowball automatically hurtling on the one way fence size crit. Yeah. I don't really care too much for it, but you guys can read the rest on your own. Yeah, not too many thoughts using pins. I know I still haven't watched The Witcher, the one that had like Henry Cavill in it. And now it's gonna be Liam Neeson. Not Liam Neeson, but the other one that's the dude that played freaking Chris Hemsworth, Liam Hemsworth. He's going to be in it, so I don't know if it's going to be great. might be shit. Some people have been kind of pissed off about that. That's a shame, but it is what it is. 
No shade at the actor Liam Hensworth, I guess. He's did a few good ass movies too, but it is what it is. I'm not here. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros and boys. Boys, 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 talk to you. I'll see you in the you. Guys, have a good day, have a good night, wherever you're in the universe out there. Say, I'm going to be in the news, and my news, Tushy's drama news, three, four times of a month, you know, news. And of course, we actually review segments, the hyper ones, and movie review trailers, and all that shit. And that's it. Peace on my hard call. Let's see my screen. Plus, I take it easy. Um, don't take the, you know what, the poison, the JBSs, the micro, and the bots are glad goo. I'm done. Later. Happy early Christmas. Goodbye.